Welcome to a new edition of The Black Spot, the only video blog of true black political thought in New Jersey, the nightmare dream of the American mainstream with the capacity for veracity and the word like it's heard on the street. We may not come smooth, we may not come clean, <laughs> but we will always tell you what we mean today. A question, are we finally seeing the emergence of the new black politician? Or is it the same shit, different election? <laughs> <laughs> well, sisters and brothers, so-called post-racial America has delivered unto us our first half-Irish president and Assemblywoman Maxine Lavoie from here in New Jersey. Both the federal government and the state of New Jersey have taken some interesting twists and turns as of late. The bed is wrapped by two wars with no foreseeable end and a growing economic crisis so bad that when China comes looking for their money back, we're going to have to turn the lights out in the country and hope they think we ain't home. <laughs> As for the Turks, its own economic meltdown has been so intense that it turned one of its governors gay. Uh, <laughs> you, yes, you, the bunting on the podium is all wrong. We want red, white, and blue, not pink, off-white, and some color that's not even in the goddamn visible spectrum. <laughs> Tell Jose that that shit needs to be replaced yesterday. Uh, Rhonda did some good work here. Some good Bible quotes, too. Well, I think she stole them from her dad. <laughs> oh, good old Reverend Stewart. You know what? Frank came talking to me the other day. Real quick, uh, my wife, I mean, the camera. The <sighs> boy has proven to be quite an agile performer here in the New Jersey Assembly. While she has worked on initiatives to improve education for the poor, including immigrants, and she's led the way in renewable energy legislation, she has also tightened restrictions on welfare eligibility and use of food stamps. While quick to condemn state police racial profiling, she refuses to hold the attorney general and state trooper superintendent responsible for their questionable leadership. She has managed to escape the kind of baptism of fire that most other black politicians get held to. She carries the hopes and dreams of the black community, but refuses to even acknowledge that fact. Now, before black folks once again run blindly to drink from the democratic well and not even test if the water had been poisoned, uh -huh. let us ask ourselves first, brothers and sisters, who is Maxine Lavoie? Sorry, I uh, forgot to. We will continue our quest to get Mrs. Lavoy on this program, but don't hold your breaths, folks. The Lavoy team has played it safe so far, and the black spot, well, we ain't about safe. You know what I mean? That's the word for this week, brothers and sisters. Before I take my leave, I want to remind folks that the Black Spot comes to you with support from Deep Pride Footwear Outlet. With over 10 locations in the tri-state area, so don't forget to click on that banner running underneath me if you want that 20% off your next pair of kicks. Till next time, <laughs> stay black, stay strong, and stay out of jail, you see, because nothing makes them more scared than black people smart, powerful, and free. I remain Omar al -Azad, and Azad means truth. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Test list. Check.